All right, y'all, we are gonna design our own little mini crumble cookies um, and have them in their own little box. So the, what you're gonna need is we've got some white model magic. You need some markers at your table, scissors, a glue stick, a cup, and you'll also have one of these to help you cut out and make your own box. Um, that will be for later though, so I'm gonna set that to the side. And all you really need right now are your scissors, your model magic, and a cup, okay? Uh, I think there's probably only enough for one per table, or sorry, two per table, so um, you'll just have to share your cup. But you won't need it for long anyway. I'm gonna cut open the packet. And do your best to pull out your model magic all in one piece. And you're only gonna cut about a third. So if you like visually divide it up into threes, I'm gonna cut this much off. This is for toppings. Um, and then this is for my cookie. If you think you need a little bit more, you can always cut off a tiny bit more. Um, but with this one, you're gonna start with your big one because this is the base for your cookie. And um, we're actually gonna color these with markers, okay? Um, and the way it works is that I'm just gonna go ahead and start flattening it out. I'm not gonna mold this into anything just yet. I want it nice and flat. And my base color of the cookie is just gonna be like a regular tan colored cookie. So I'm gonna just color this side, fold it, and then squish it again. I'm gonna color here. If you wanted like a chocolate cookie, you would still use brown. You would just use more brown. Um, but because I want mine to be kind of like a tan color, I'm not gonna do as much. So I would say fold it, if you want the tan color, I would fold it about four times. If you're wanting yours um, like a really dark brown, like a chocolate cookie, I would fold it about six or seven times. The easiest way to make the um, shape of your cookie is to roll a ball and then flatten it between your hands either like this or you can kind of pinch and turn. The reason you have the cup is to measure. You want the cookie to be about as big as the top of the cup. So I'm almost there. Okay, so this is where you can kind of design your cookie however you want. Um, you can do, I'll have some examples on the screen that you can choose from. If you're just wanting like white frosting, something really simple, roll a ball, flatten it. And then you would just literally stick this on top like that. And then if you wanted to add sprinkles, you can draw them on top of the white if you wanted to. Um, I'm not gonna stick it on because once, you, the thing about Model Magic is once you stick it together, it's really hard for it to come apart. So you've got to be sure before you stick anything on top of each other or stick anything together, okay? Um, but anyways, if you're just wanting something like this, cool, that works. But look, I barely set it on there and it just stuck to it, so please be careful. Okay, um, another idea for a topping is, um, or for, sorry, for your icing, I'm gonna set this to the side. If you roll a really long coil, um, start out with one hand, you'll eventually need two hands. You want it pretty long. I would say from your elbow to your wrist is how long I would try and roll it. It will get very, very skinny, but as long as you keep rolling it, it should stay about the same size everywhere. But notice how I'm not staying in one spot when I'm rolling. I'm moving my hands around and that's a little bit longer than I said, but it'll work. 
And then you can always take one end, start rolling it like this. And I'm just gonna leave this frosting white, um, but if you wanted like strawberry frosting, um, obviously add your color before you do this step. And then I would just stick that on top. And then again, you can add uh, sprinkles by adding like dots with your markers on top and designing it that way. Um, if you don't want any frosting, you can always color your toppings. Like if, let's say if you wanted chocolate chips, just take little pieces and roll them into a ball. Um, but you would obviously remember to add your color before you do that. So you can do chocolate chips. Again, there's gonna be a bunch of examples on the screen, so I will let you decide whatever you want to do. For my last one, this is the one I'm actually gonna put together, so um, I'm gonna go ahead. I know that I want white frosting, but I also wanna add like a little um, lemon wedge, so I'm gonna take some away from that and use this for now for my frosting. And I'm just gonna do one flat piece And like I said, as soon as you stick it, it stays. So you don't really have to worry about gluing it or anything. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and mold my little lemon on the side. Okay, and then if I wanted, I could even take my markers and like add little sprinkles if I wanted to. I'm not going to. Um, the second step is I'm gonna go ahead and set that to the side. You're gonna get your box paper and it's really thin, so be careful whenever you're cutting it. But you're gonna cut out this entire shape. Okay, and then once you have your little peat box cut out, you're gonna fold on those lines and try and do it the best that you can. Go slow with this part, you'll get a better fold. And on just on every single line, make a fold. Okay, so now you have your box. Now you just have to glue it together. So do not use a glue bottle for this. Use a glue stick. It dries faster and it will um, hold a lot better. You're gonna put the glue on the outside. So one, two. You're putting the glue where you can see your crumble cookie label, okay? Your glue does not go on this side where it's blank. It goes on the outside. Put glue here. So you're only putting glue in four spots. One, two, three, four. And then you're gonna fold this part up and stick it. And do the same thing to the side. 
So the little tabs are getting glued to the inside of your box. You can see that one tab, two, this last one. Okay. And then you can just stick your cookie right inside. And then you have your little box. Okay, make sure your name is on the bottom. That's why I said write it here. And then you have your little crumble cookie in a box.